That's quite a gift from the Roach family to pay to send you here. But who's going to take care of you? Listen, don't worry about me. With the education you're going to get here, you can go to any college you want. Maybe. Hey, students, so they're different from us. They probably all go to the same island for vacation, ski the same mountain in the wintertime. You might not have as much in common at first with them. You're an expert on boarding school now? No, but your mom went here and she told me what it was like, you know. Hey, you listen to me, sweetheart. You just use that big brain of yours, huh? And you're gonna be just fine. You protect him. He's mom's favorite. All right, let's get you in there. No, it's fine, Dad. I got it. Gather around. I'd like to give you a warm welcome to Crown Lake Academy. Here are you, Miss Merriweather? Headmistress Merriweather. And you should have been here five minutes ago. Not that late. You're Eleanor Chambers, yes? Later today, you will tour the riding stables, and on the other side of that forest, beyond the lake, is your brother's school. Where were you before this? Public school? At another boarding school in and Switzerland. At 5 p.m. sharp, there is a welcome service in the chapel, followed by your meet and greet in the grubber. What's the grubber? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Dr. Lewis, girls, this is your math instructor. I hope you're prepared for a rigorous academic year. So rigorous that I may not be seeing some of you by spring. What does that mean? This place is notorious for kicking people out. I've often heard it's also the students who decide. If they don't like you, gone. Just stick to the rules and you'll be okay. The rules? Read the manual. Show school spirit. Don't make trouble. Okay, and now I have your room assignments, ladies. Oh, please, always maintain your decorum. Aaron, Miss Chambers. Where's my luggage? <laughs>
Are you serious? He said that. Who are you? Nellie Chambers. I'm your new roommate. Oh. I'm Tiffany St. Martin. Of the Upper East Side St. Martins, not the Scarsdale St. Martins. Oh. You have your own cell phone? Don't you? Uh, my dad has a beeper. But... Beepers are for drug dealers. So, this is my side. Obviously. Where's all your stuff? My luggage is lost. How'd you let that happen? It's a long story. So, Upper East Side, where's that? New York. Oh, right. I'm from a town called Attaway. Never heard of it. Oh, Attaway's claim to fame is the Oh Mama omelet. They serve it at my dad's coffee shop. He does this thing where he whips the eggs until they turn to foam, so the omelet cooks extra fluffy. Sorry I had to hang up. I had to deal with my new roommate. Ugh, I can't believe they made me get another one. You've never seen a closet before? The handbook says we wear uniforms. Only when we have to. So, what happened to your old roommate? I didn't like her, so I kicked her out. Hey. Hi. We're going to the abandoned church. You're coming, right? Well, I promised my mom that I'd be home by 11 and that I'd lock up, but um, I'll, I'll just come back later. Sweet, let's get out of here. Who are you? Oh, um, I I'm Nellie. Are you new? <sighs> yeah, I would give it away. Because everyone's in the grubber right now and you're hanging out in an empty classroom. Oh, the grubber is the lunchroom? Let me guess. Meriwether gave you the welcome tour and called everything by its bizarre Crown Lake nicknames. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this place. I'm Chloe Hauser, but you didn't see me here, okay? Good for you. Hanging out here instead of bowing down to the girls who run this place. Especially that Tiffany St. Martin. Oh, she's actually my roommate. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd stay away from her if you can. Your necklace. Thanks. Are you new? Yeah, Nellie. I'm from Attaway. Oh, I think my parents have some friends there. The DuPonts, the dad is like the CEO for some big company. Uh, uh no, I don't know them. I don't. Do you know Jimmy Roach? He owns like half the town. Isn't he the one that's part of the mob? Guys, come on. You say if everything falls in place. I'm trying to make it right I say I usually need 
I'm Watch so it. sorry. So sorry. Okay. Only the spirit squad does the routines. No one else. Everyone knows that. And our group is definitely okay. not accepting new members. I'm so sorry. It's not Crown Lake Boys? No, this is the girls' school. Hey, there's a boy out here. He thinks he's a boys. Is he cute? I'm sure the schools look the same in the dark. I'm such an idiot. My mom and I, we were driving up here and we saw a big sign that said Crown Lake Academy and figured this was it. So you're new too? Here on a rowing scholarship. I was on my public school team. Brian Baker. Nellie Chambers, also new. Well, I hope you're faring better than I am so far. That would be a big no, but my mom went here, so I owe it to her to make a go of it. So you're a legacy? More like a charity case. My mom died last year. I'm. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It's just weird to think that she went to this school too. I wonder if she thought that Crown Lake had its own language like I do. I just wish she was here to teach it to me. You know, my mom said on the way up, she said that boarding school's different and that I should watch out for the rich snobs. <laughs> my dad said that too. They must have read the same kind of <laughs> They must have. <laughs> So you're looking for the boys' campus? Uh, yeah. I'll show you how to get there. It's right through those woods. Okay, but I mean, I was in the... I'm Tiffany, and you are? Ryan. Stop ignoring me. Dear whoever finds this book, my name is Heather Masterson. I used to go to Crown Lake, so I know how tough it is here. But if you can hang, your life will be amazing. Is this for real? I didn't fare so well. But you can rock this place. I'll show you how. Because it's not about the rules in the student handbook. I'll give you the secrets of Crown Lake I wish I'd known. But I get it. You're suspicious. You don't know me. If I were you, I wouldn't trust me. But whatever you decide, don't you dare tell anyone you found this book. I'll know, and you'll regret it. Now, are you in, or are you out?
Hey, Beck, it's me. <laughs> Such a lame party. Except for that new guy. Ryan. Yeah, he's got potential. Imagine if we hadn't saved him, though. He'd still be stuck talking to her. Crap, it's my check. Bye. If you're gonna badmouth me, at least do it when I'm not five feet away. You should watch how you talk. You should be a decent human. You wanna be me? It's not my fault you aren't. You don't know anything about what I want. Do you think you can just force me out like you did your old roommate? You make it sound so dramatic. Why'd she leave all that stuff in the closet? Did you make her leave in a hurry? It's not my fault she left things. But I doubt there's anything useful in that box. Her style is terrible. Actually, there's this notebook. Notebook? Yeah, it's... Never mind. By the way, Ryan? He's mine. I thought you already had a boyfriend. That guy on your nightstand? That's my brother, Evan. But Ryan? I better not see you and him having any more little chats. He'd never be any you.
So you're curious. Are you struggling? Do you love Crown Lake, but nothing's going right? Don't worry. I'll be your friend. I'll make sure you know what to do at all times. But you have to follow my instructions, even when they seem suspect. Right now, I'm the only friend you've got. Chapter One. Thinking of joining cross country? Next time on Crown Lake. Tryouts are tomorrow. You little witch! Saturday detention, 6 a.m.